say your students do you have favorite students because we see one two or three students they 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 are with you for many years well all of you but it depends on the act i create it depends on the expression of the dance i create if it's romance and softness there is one girl if it's lot of skills and uh, all kinds of movements and heavy movements it's another girl if it's if you want to make the people the people the audience cry to get the little sort of feeling inside there is another girl so it depends on the act and the choreography act the music piece and what i'm creating so for particular particular ones there are favorites it's that why i ask you that you know uh, when you when we see uh, your true each and every one all your dances are picture perfect I don't think we 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 get in Sri Lanka any other dance troupe uh, who has like a picture perfect statuettes figures like that. You pick beautiful girls or, or no, do no, you no. make them? They come when they were five and a half to six years plus. They start on working, they work every day. I think they spend more hours with me and and Upuli and our school than they're at home. And uh, it's how you think, how you get on. It's like uh, you 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 get two people and you say it, it's an environment around. You see some people. Uh, brought up in slums and different areas. I'm just talking about normal people, but their language is different. The way they move is different. What they do is different. Everything is different. And you get another person more spiritual. Her behavior is different. Everything is different. So it depends on the environment around who you be with and who you get on with. The communication is very important. Who you communicate with. Our dancers they communicate all with spiritual people and dance and things. Some people don't do that. So you see the change, the language, everything, and when they, the way the rhythm, the speak, and everything. So I think uh, that's how it happens. That's so you how it happens. Make a normal goes. person, normal girl, turn into a beautiful dancer. Yeah, it's, it's a thought, how they think. Yeah, it's a thought, and it, it comes from inside. And your body language, you you culture them more yeah. or less. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Criticism again. <laughs> criticism. Uh, a lot of people say that you, your dancers, have a lot of flesh on display. I like to ask, which part of flesh are they talking about? You go into a wedding, you see hips and sarees wear. You walk out in the street, everybody. If you can carry your figure, if you can expose your midriff from here, it's okay. They have to have perfect figure to do that. And if you can expose exposing the shoulders and the midriff is not more flesh, but you just go anywhere, you can see them. Why criticize me on my culture and technique? I do. Then none of these people are criticized. Can go and see a girl swimming. They, they, something is wrong because they can't go and see so, go into a pool and watch people swimming. There's so much of flesh being exposed in a pool. So why are you attacking the art? Uh, not you. I mean, whoever is doing that. See, these people, the bodies are men. It's beautiful to watch. It's the shoulders and the mid. They're talk, just talking about those two. And the one who started making girls wear long sleeves. And the one who made girls wearing long clothes, uh, long uh, red dress because they wore it half here, three quarter. I put it long. And but this, but now almost every dance director is doing that. And you can see it. Yes, you have uh, created more than five thousand choreographs, more than five thousand dance items. Each and every one of them are different to the previous one. How do you do that? Talk about the five. I've, it's, I don't think anyone will believe this. That, so because of that, I'm writing the year, the day, the stage, production, everything, and writing that going. It's every each and one is different, but my identity is through them. You can see the costume designing and the movements. Everything I've done. You can see our style, the Channa Upali performing art style in the dancer. You can just point it at them. Maybe that's sure. because I don't copy sure. from anyone else. <laughs> sure. The next question, naturally. Your costumes, you invent styles. Your costumes, even the makeup that you do on your dancers. What's the difference? Well, uh, when I bring now, there are two ways of choreographing. First, you can pre-choreograph an act and come to the studio. Other one is to choreograph at that very moment. What I do is choreographing at that very moment. I listen to the music only once. That's all. I come into the studio while the while the routines are going on. I just put the music and just start choreographing. It happens then and there. Comes natural to you. Yeah, it comes like a painting. And yeah, because I have molded the dancer so well, whatever vision I get, whatever visual I get into my mind, I can apply to the dancer and they do it because they have been trained. I train them every day. At that very moment, I start drawing the costume. Then. Deciding what sort, what sort of a garment I'm, material I'm using, because that counts a lot. So I decide on the material texture I use, and material if it's whether it's a matte finish or a glossy finish, or then I decide the jacket whether it's going to be sewn on a cross. You have to uh, sew the 
cut the jacket and across other you can lift your arms. So th these are small, small things you're going when a dance costume is designed. And there is a... And the colour also you yeah, said yeah, you take into lighting. account the lighting is... Uh, uh, the lighting does a lot and, and uh, we, uh, we have to first design it for white normal lights and then the mood lights come in. So we have to see what the costume colour comes or what the garment comes. You can't have a glossy on a glossy. You have to have a matte finish. On the matte finish you have to have a glossy finish. And uh, talking about the costume, I'd like to tell you about... Uh, I'd like to talk to you about the sun. Sun is very powerful for us. You know solar power, how much power they have. Now, you're seated. Now people, they meditate in this stance. This is almost like a pyramid. This is a of a pyramid. Our namaskar is the same thing. They, it's, it's, I, I can demonstrate why. Rasuni, what a product namaskar karami? Namaskar palatami? Such a type of Now you see her, when she's straight, the shape of a pyramid. Now you know the power, it's a part of the pyramid. One segment of, four, four, one segment. Now the power of the pyramid, you know, when the pyramid was first found, they found fresh grapes and they ate the grapes. Thousands of years old grapes. So that is solar power, the power. Our dance comes from the, our, everything in the, even the bhavana stance is very limited, very similar to this. So you have the power coming from here, divided to two, and circulating around, and the energy coming for, from here. And that's how the, which is the pyramid stance is very important. When she stands, stand, again the feet are kept one foot from here, and there's another foot here. This is the measurement of the foot. You see, this foot, the same measurement is here. So again, it's a triangular. The triangle. Then when she goes down to the mandi, which is our first dance, mandi, she gives more weight to this finger because it's linked to the heart. That's why you wear the wedding ring on this. And even the Veda Mahatyas take the medicine on which take them on this finger. This finger and this one connects to the top here. And this top goes straight to this part. This is where... Uh, thank you. I'll call you back. This is this stance when you're like this. Connects here. Kala Shuri for his creative contribution to the arts of Sri Lanka, Chana believes that every person nurtures the ability to outstand in a chosen field. And for him, negative criticism is only an encouragement to do better. We'll meet again next week on All About Success. Good night.